Hello and welcome to everything I read in April. Um, I will be looking at the books that I read on my husband's desk here. So that's a different little background in his fancy chair. Um, but anyway, we'll go ahead and get into the books that I read this month. Starting with Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zauner. Uh, this is a memoir from Michelle about growing up Korean American in a small town. It discusses her mom's high expectations of her and how they bonded over food. And then it also goes into when her mom is diagnosed with breast cancer or maybe just cancer. I can't remember the specific cancer, but Michelle was 25 and it forced her to reckon with her identity and her relationship with her mom. I gave this book five stars. I really loved reading this book. I loved the descriptions of the food. I loved the descriptions of her talking with her mom and um, the relationship with the mom. The food descriptions, they make you hungry, so be ready to have some snacks. And the descriptions about her mom having cancer are very sad, but also very like insightful. I would highly recommend reading this book. I know it's a really talked about book right now. So um, go ahead and check it out if you want to. Then I read Breast Served Hot by Amanda Elliott. This is about Julie who works as an assistant by the day and then after hours she runs a social media restaurant review page. Uh, she applies for a dream job of writing for a well-known paper but it gets taken by a privileged man Bennett. After they meet in feud they decide to partner up for a collaboration of writing reviews. Um, I gave this three stars. Uh, the story is kind of underwhelming to me. Um, I kind of forgot the description of the story so maybe I should um, kind of changed my mind from when I wanted to read it to when I actually did read it. The main character wasn't very likable. I actually enjoyed the love interest more, uh, which is kind of funny because it's like a hate to love story. And so you're kind of supposed to hate the love interest, right? But I actually enjoyed him more. Um, and me and my friend were reading this together and my friend kind of stopped halfway through. She's like, I cannot finish this. It is not working for me. And I totally understood. I just wanted to finish it just to see what happened and also for the sake of the buddy read, um, but that's okay. Then I read Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmo, Garmu, Garmus. Uh, in the early 60s, Elizabeth Zott is a chemist at an all-male research institute. A few years later, she's a single mom and a reluctant star of a cooking show where she combines chemistry and cooking. Uh, I would give this more uh, four and a half stars. Um, I really enjoy the story and how it puts you in the era and the characters. Uh, I would really recommend this one. It is actually going to be a show with Brie Larson, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this has really been popular lately. I really enjoyed the era and everything else like that. Uh, it didn't get the full five just because I felt like a little bit of a disconnect, but overall, I really did enjoy that one. Then I read Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. You know, I've read pretty much all of her books by now, so this is her newest installment for 2023. Uh, this is about Dr. Brianna Ortiz. Her life is flatlining after her divorce is being finalized. Her brother needs a kidney donation, and she wants a promotion that's out of her sight. Dr. Jacob Maddox is the new doctor at her hospital and has left a terrible first impression, but writes her a letter that makes her second guess what she really thinks. Um, this is probably more like three and a half to four stars. I really enjoyed the beginning of the book, but then, uh, cause I felt like they really did have good chemistry and it was like moving in a direction that I was excited by. But then like halfway through it introduced like a fake dating trope. And I was like, Oh, I did not expect that. I didn't read that anywhere in any of the description of the book. So that kind of caught me off guard. Um, and I just didn't really feel like it was necessary because it felt like the chemistry kind of like got cut off at that moment and it had been building up so far. Also, there was like a lot of talk about social media in there that I felt like wasn't really necessary to the plot. Um, but it was pretty fun to read. It was a pretty easy read. All of her books are pretty easy to read. It was just like that trope kind of caught me off guard and I didn't care for it too much. Then I read The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston, uh, a disillusionized millennial ghostwriter who quite literally has ghosts of her own, has to find her way back home. Uh, 
that's probably as much of a description I want to give you because I would say go into this as blind as possible. Um, four stars overall. I thought this one was pretty cute and unique. You don't really hear books about this too much. Um, it does jump into the story very quickly, so you don't really get to know your main character too much before it goes directly into the plot. So I kind of wish there was a little bit more backstory, but overall it was a good quick read. Then I read Three by Valerie Perrin. In 1986, 10-year-olds Adrian, Etienne, and Nina become fast friends. In 2017, a car is found at the bottom of a lake with a body in it. And a local journalist examines the friendship and how it ties into that car being found at the bottom of the lake. Uh, three stars for this one felt a little long for the story material. It was just an okay read. It kind of sounds like a mystery, but it's really more about the friendships and how they fell apart. Um, it kind of was just a little bit underwhelming for me. Then I read The Vegetarian by Han Kang. A woman has a dream which drives her to stop eating meat. Her husband and her family are desperate to regain control of her. I give this three, store, uh, three stars. Um, the story was interesting, but I wish we had perspective of the character. I think they did that on purpose because, you know, they're trying to gain control of the wife. And... Um, it lends to that controlling atmosphere where she doesn't have her own perspective in the book. But it was just kind of a bizarre kind of quick read. Um, but yeah, it was interesting. Then I read Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. A bookseller finds himself at the center of an FBI investigation after a killer started using his list of books entitled Perfect Murders. I give this three stars. I feel like the mystery was a little lacking and the narrator was a little transparent at times. I kind of felt like I could see where it was going. Then I read Just My Type by Fallon Ballard. Lana Parker is perpetually in a relationship and is challenged to be single for her column at a magazine while her ex from high school is perpetually single and challenged to be in a relationship. Um, three stars. The story didn't really work for me. One of the big challenges Lana faced was to be content being single. Um, and she was supposed to do a lot of the challenges by herself. So like, uh, you know, go for a walk by yourself. But then her editor would h hook her up with her ex-boyfriend. So she wasn't really by herself. So it kind of defeated the purpose of the challenge. Um, and the way they kind of tied it up in the end was like, oh, well, she's always been kind of independent from a young age. Well, that wasn't what the reason for the challenge was. I don't know. Uh, it didn't really seem enough to go past that serial monogamy. Uh, it was an okay read. It had sweet moments, but nothing that really stuck with me. Then I read Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. Uh, nine strangers all go to a health resort with different reasons why they're going. Uh, some of them want to go for weight loss. Some of them want to go for couples counseling. And they're all tested in many ways to change their lives. I give this three stars. Uh, I think the book had potential to be great. But it kind of like felt short. Um, it kept building and building up to something really big. But then when that moment came, it was just kind of like fizzled out. So, you know, it kind of just fell flat for me in that way. I also didn't really care for the, any of the characters. They were all a little bit shallow. I think that's the purpose. They're all at a health resort. They're all kind of um, obsessed with themselves. But I wish we had a character we could have rooted for. But overall, those are all the books I read in April. Tell me what you've been reading. Hit, link some suggestions down below. And I hope I see you guys next time.